since a lot of you like my TikTok live studio guide and like what the best settings for a live studio are, a lot of you also notice that TikTok is a buggy mess and it uses way too many PC resources way more than OBS does. I found out a solution on how to fix this issue and you can stream through OBS into TikTok Live Studio with zero performance loss. Let me show you how it works. So all you need for this is a simple OBS plugin called Vertical. I already went over this plugin in my previous video, but if you haven't already checked it out, it basically makes this vertical canvas for you to save your clips so in case you're streaming and you want to save the clip, it automatically goes into vertical. It's really, really good, really dope. And you can also use it to stream on YouTube, TikTok, and all these other vertical platforms, right? So there's this really cool feature in the newest update called virtual camera, right? OBS has had it like for so long, but now they added one to vertical plugin itself. So if we go right here and we click on this like orange button, it's it activates the virtual camera for the vertical plugin. So only for the vert vertical scene right here. If we go into the vertical scenes and we actually add something to it, we can replicate the virtual scene and give it to the TikTok Live Studio. So basically it only uses your OBS resources and it doesn't use anything in your TikTok Live Studio. That means you are no longer gonna have any FPS drops. Your PC is not going to explode. It's gonna work just fine. Let me show you how. Right, so here I have the vertical scene tab right here. So I can add whatever I want to the vertical tab and that's gonna be used uh, for, you know, when I press the button, it's gonna save the clip or whatever. I added this image, this meme right here and I'm using the virtual camera in the vertical plugin. So if I go to my TikTok Live Studio and I go to the portrait scenes right here, so I want to stream in portrait mode, I want to stream in a vertical mode, I add a scene called blank or whatever you want to call it, and then all we have to do is add a virtual camera. So all you do here is go to camera, and you go in and not choose your, your own camera, you choose the OBS virtual camera. So with that, we keep all the settings default. We don't wanna change anything over here. We click add source. And as you can see, it's basically replicating our OBS scene right over here. So whatever I do in this OBS scene, if I hide this image, it's going to hide it in TikTok as well. So I uh, bring it back on, it comes back on. So whatever you do in OBS Vertical, it's going to replicate it in TikTok Live Studio. That means it's not going to use any of your PC resources for extra TikTok live stream. It's going to use everything through OBS. And we all know how lightweight OBS is if you uh, set it up correctly, which if you don't know, make sure to watch my OBS recording and streaming settings video. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. It takes you no longer than like five clicks and it saves your PC resources like Crazy. I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to drop a like. If you got this far into the video, you obviously liked the video. Hopefully, I helped somebody out. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.